the premiere everyone is talking about, Game of Thrones, captivating millions, including a lot of celebs overnight. Kelly Clarkson tweeted this, a big thank you for returning just in time for her B-Day. And then Anna Kendrick reacted to the premiere with the hashtag SISTAS. And so many saying it is all about the women this year. Those women sat down for an exclusive interview with our Jesse Palmer. You gotta give it to the ladies of season five. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? For stepping up the game. Open the gate! With those gut-wrenching cliffhangers. She has confessed. And when you get Miss Sunday, Daenerys, Sansa, Gilly, Cersei, and Arya all together in a room. Honey, it's Callie from the Valley. <laughs> You may find yourself here. I was like out at a concert with Kid, and um, I went into the restroom, and these girls come in, and they're like, "Who the hell is that girl with Kit?" And I was like, "Oh my God, that's me." <laughs> that might be the real you. <laughs> Daenerys. It's funny because she's actually from the UK. They all are. But now, down to business. I want to start with the Stark sisters. For Sansa, she keeps kind of getting paired up with bad boyfriends mm. slash husbands slash fiancés. He really hurts me every night. Well, day I'm locked in this room. Is there a chance in season six that we kind of start to see it get better? Yeah, I think Sansa, you know, she's leaving the relationships for now, and she's <laughs> she's becoming like her own. Having some me time. Yeah, she's having some me time. <laughs> Trying to find herself. Um, she needs to be with herself right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Macy, your character has become this total badass. You know who I am. I'm Arya Stark. She's always had like these cheeky one-liners and she's always kind of had the upper hand. And this season is the first time that we see her genuinely like broken down. And it's so nice to, you know, be able to play a character that is coming to that point, their lowest point so late on. And we last saw Cersei at her lowest point. She's been brought to her knees. So you find her at the beginning of the season really quite lost and vulnerable and slowly but surely back comes old Cersei. <laughs> with a colder heart. <laughs> That's possible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Amelia, for you, what's it been like playing Daenerys? Dracarys. There are fans that call her the Beyonce of the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah. Run the world. That's me, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> my inner Beyonce comes out sometimes. You know? I think you can't hate on dragons. Like, you just can't. <laughs> People get in her way and she's like, mm-mm. I'm gonna get my dragons, I'm gonna kill you. Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something you can get behind. What's cool about your two characters, too, they can speak Valerian. Yeah. Hakar. Ath Jahakar. My mom, she <laughs>, laughs at me a lot because when I go to visit and I was learning Valerian, and she would literally hear me in my bedroom being like, like, throwing things, just so frustrated, and then I'd run down and go, Mom, listen! And then I'd do like a lot, and she'd be like, well done, babe. And then I'd go back upstairs and she'd hear that for another, a more frustrated, more yelling, more crying. Like, just promise me, whatever happens, you'll take care of little Sam. Well, of course I will. So, Hannah, what can we expect from Gilly's character? It's a really different season. She's very much out of her comfort zone, uh, but in kind of in a fun way rather than a scary way for the first time, which is, which is very cool. Stop. And while the show Wait. isn't for the faint of heart, legions of women are tuning in every week. I think because all the women are flawed. Do you know what I mean? There's no sort of vision of perfection. I think that's why women dig it. Because yeah. we're all a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances a woman ends up on the Iron Throne? Pretty damn I high. think, yeah, how many people are there? <laughs> like, there is. So on the count of three, I'll ask you to point to the person you think might end up on the Iron Throne. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> A lot of no, don't do <laughs> Oh, she, you double guard. it's gonna be a double star. Wow. Win. Oh, oh, you, oh, you want star oh. sisters. Oh. It's Stark gonna become sisters. a mobile throne with a sidecar. Right? <laughs> <laughs> For Good Morning America, Jesse Palmer, ABC <laughs> News, New York. Oh, that was great, Jess. Thank you.